Yo guys, what's going on? It's Roxam here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over how you can qualify to the finals for the Solo Victory Cash Cup. Now, by the time you guys see this video, it's actually just one day away. The tournament is on March 17th, which is a Sunday, but nonetheless, I'm going to be going over everything, including the meta, the best loadouts, the best drop spots, and a game-by-game -game strategy so that you guys know exactly from A to Z what you need to do to qualify, and uh, hopefully, I'll be versing some of you guys in the finals. Now, first things first, you need to be gold ranked to actually even play in the tournament, so if you aren't gold already or if you you haven't even played ranked yet you need to do that first the second thing we're going to talk about are the placement points so for the solo cup if you get a win with let's say zero kills you get a total of 30 placement points so every game that you win with let's say no kills that's 30 points and then an additional one point per kill so since i'm pretty sure the same as what the whole point system was last season so nothing that changed there and in opens you actually get two hours and seven games to play in order to get to about 60 65 points if you're an na and about 75 points in eu which is usually Usually the qual points so if you want to go to the finals that's usually how many points you need to get within those two hours and seven games now keep in mind in finals it's just one hour and three games so it's it's a very weird you know tournament um strategy they have but that's just how it is and if you win in the finals you get a hundred dollars per win no placement no kill points it's literally just a win okay so it's it's very it's a very unique you know placement point strategy now for finals like i said eleven thousand five hundred players will call qual in eu and nine thousand for na so i'm they're gonna focus on these two regions because they are the biggest ones now in terms of the movement last season there were obviously crash pads the grapple which was the main thing and another thing to mention is that shockwaves are in the game but they're actually banned from competitive they were banned last season so most likely they're gonna be banned this season which leads us to the wings as you guys know Fortnite has added new wings this season and they are the main source of movement but in tournaments i don't know if it's gonna be the play because it's very easy to shoot somebody out and kill them in the sky so i don't know if wings are gonna be the play i would personally recommend using flowberry fizz or the flow berries itself just that effect that you get from them is obviously going to be very good but it also brings me to my next point which is a zeus medallion that medallion is actually very op it basically gives you uh, more speed when you sprint and higher jumps so it's honestly one of the best things for movement so it's, it's going to be something that's very sought after so just be very considerate and keep that in mind now also another thing to mention this season there are no more vending machines which kind of makes meds a little bit more valuable because keep in mind in in final everybody's gonna be stacked up with med kits or at least that's how it was last season because you can easily you know use emps farm gold from vending machines and then just buy max med kits right this season you can't do that so you gotta find your med kits from loot so they're gonna be a lot more rarer which means they're a lot more valuable now quickly before we move on if you guys are enjoying this video be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to join and support my journey we're uploading every single day this is day eight till i hit 50k subscribers so if you want to join you know just subscribe it means a lot anyways now i'm gonna go over this strategy okay so your first game out of your seven games should be a w key game hands down there's no debate on that your first game should always be you know the game where you key even if you die off spawn the first game let's say the second game you play should also still be your key game you need to have a good key game in order to even you know have a chance to get the points you need to get the reason for the first game being the key game is there's no elo there's no point matching system um because everybody's at zero so you can be you know you're gonna be playing against everyone so there's gonna be people that are just in gold rank let's say you know like for me i'm in diamond right now there's gonna be gold players in that first game plat players which i should be better than so it gives me an upper edge against you know a lot of players so my first game needs to be a key game and even if i get just a five kill win in my first game that'll put me at 35 points which is already 50 percent that's 50 percent there like i'm already 50 percent qualified with one game now games two to six you want to focus on just going end game because like i said all that's going to really matter is those one two three placement points because for me that's been the difference just one or two points there's been times i haven't qualified because because of just one two points and i would only recommend taking fights in those games that you know you can win i would it's not worth the risk of you know landing looting and then you see a mid game fight you take it and you die because you've now wasted so much time probably gotten no points and you know you just put yourself in a bad position even mentally so try to avoid any fights just focus on making end game in those you know games two to six and also another thing to mention is at the last 25 minutes of the tournament there's gonna be a lot of people that are just w king because they might need a lot of points so they're gonna you know need a lot of Kill, so they're just w key some people might have games to throw around so they're just gonna you know w w key which gives you dead lobbies and makes it a lot easier for you to go end game and just you know take all those placement points that you're gonna need so you should prioritize landing somewhere a lot safer and then rotate dead side until end game in games two to six in terms of the best drop spot i don't want to talk about that too much because i've made a full video going over three of the best drop spots and rotations in depth so if you want to check that out that'll be in the description down below but i'm, I'm gonna go over it lightly it all kind of comes down to the type of 
player you are. So if you're a good fighter and a confident player, or if you're someone like me who just gets very nervous, you gotta land accordingly. So that's why I kind of like to land where I, you know, mostly don't have to really fight anyone until I'm like, you know, full shielded. I have weapons. I don't like the 50-50 off spawns. But some people that are just good fighters and very confident, they they like that. They want to land with just a lot of people. So you gotta decide first what type of player you are, and then the drop spot according to that. Like I said, you can check out that video which goes over the three best drop spots that are definitely gonna be used by a lot of pros in tournaments. Or if you want, you can go to Fortnite.gg yourself and just kind of mess around with the map over there and find a good drop spot. Now in opens, I would recommend using whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. There's no set loadout that you would want to use because again, it comes down to the player you are, the guns you're comfortable with, and just what is right for you, I would say. I, I wouldn't recommend using Zeus. It's solos and it's very easy to kill someone when they're in the sky. So I wouldn't recommend using Zeus, but other than that, it kind of varies from player to player. But in finals, I would recommend using the DMR as your AR because in finals, you don't really even want to fight. You just want to go end game, right? So you don't really need an AR or SMG, but the DMR is very good because it, you guys know what I'm talking about. Surge, Storm Surge. It does 60 to 70 body shot. That is insane. For an AR, like you can farm free surge because, you know, every one, two shots you land that puts you 100 above surge right away. So the DMR is very good in finals. And then also I would use, use a gatekeeper early to mid game. It's a very, very good shotgun. But in the end game, I would probably use the hammer or the auto just because like the biggest problem with the gatekeeper is, you know, reloading every two seconds is just in the end game. It's very fast paced and you might not get the time. So stick to that. Finally, in terms of meds comes med kits are a must. Like if you're in the finals, you need to carry a med kit. 99% of the times it comes down to a heal off. Okay. If you're not the player that takes the med kits, there's going to be somebody loaded with the med kits. He's just going to go in zone and out heal you and win. So med kits are a must. And then obviously some sort of shield, whether that's minis, big pots or chuck splashes is whatever it is. Right. And then as your last slot is your movement, right? So you can carry the wings, but if you find like flow berries, like if you're around the fencing area, you can grab flow berries. Or if you find a full fizz, take that. Trust me, it's a lot better to just, you know, fizz yourself quickly and then just make that one. Cause in end game, like you don't need that much rotation. The fizz, the fizz effect does enough, right? Unless you obviously have the Zeus medallion, then, you know, different story, but I would take the fizz and the flow berries over the wings. Finally, keep in mind, you only need two good games in order to qualify for the finals. If you do bad in one or two games, don't get frustrated. Trust me, I, I need to take this advice myself because at the end of the day, it all comes down to your mentality. And if you're strong up here, you're going to be clicking the keys or playing strong like that. So yeah, if you guys want me to make a full in-depth tutorial on everything from A to Z in terms of what you need to do in the finals, I did touch on some things here and there, but this is more on how you can qualify to the finals. Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who made it to the end of the video. I just, this has been an incredible grind for me, you know, uploading every single day. Day eight today. I'm so excited to be back tomorrow. I, I, I don't even know what else to say. But yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and of course, use code ROXM in the item shop to support me. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.